So thank you everyone for joining us at our KIPS event with D2L Wave, which provides curated professional development. Uh, this is the official launch and demo of this new KIPS member benefit. And this webinar will provide a brief overview of how KIPS members can assess their skills with a KIPS skills assessment tool, and then utilize D2L Wave to find professional development that will help address skills gaps. Uh, providing a demo later will be uh, Jackie Ross, uh, who is Detail Waves Senior Manager of Product Marketing, who specializes in product launch and go-to market strategies for new and emerging technologies. Also like to note that if you have any questions during the presentation, uh, we ask that you post them at, uh, in the chat. Um, and I, Jonathan Elias, will then compile the questions for myself and Jackie. Hi, Jackie, how's it going? Hello, sorry I'm late at Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks no for having worries. me. No worries. Thought I get started since uh, I'm doing the first portion, anyways, and uh, and then I'll jump in and I'll switch it over to you. Perfect. Um, so, also like to note that this is Kips's IIT Professionalism Week, which is a yearly celebration held by Kips Canada's Association of IIT Professionals across Canada. Uh, Kips hopes to increase the awareness about uh, the importance of professionalism, ethics, and standards in the IT industry and profession. It's also time to celebrate KIPS and our IT professionalism resources. I'd also like to note, if you're not currently a KIPS member, uh, we highly encourage you to join us at cips.ca slash membership. And as a member, you can assess your skills, get certified, network with other IT professionals, volunteer and learn new skills, uh, attend events and professional development, and take advantage of a variety of member benefits. Uh, in particular, if you're a student, uh, we currently have a great promo going on where students can become a member for free um, and start their IT professional journey by taking advantage of some KIPS resources and interacting and networking with KIPS members. And once uh, student members graduate from their IT program, they can obtain the AITP designation, which is the first step to obtaining the professional ISP and ITCP designations. Uh, just a quick little bit about KIPS. Uh, KIPS has been around since 1958, uh, working to advance Canada's IT profession by establishing standards and best practices for IT professionals. We're an IT federation of 10 provincial regulators that license IT professionals in Canada and abroad. Um, and as noted, we have a variety of benefits like events, which have networking PD, a certification of IT professionals, accreditation of IT university and college programs, uh, a niche IT job board, and then a variety of member benefits, which includes the skill assessment, volunteer opportunities, and discounts on a variety of products and services. Uh, for KIPSA certifications, uh, we have the only IT designation that is recognized by law in Canada, um, that be in six provinces. Uh, the ISP has a, been around since 1989 and provides clients and employers uh, with trusted assurance of your knowledge and technical backgrounds. Uh, we also have the ITCP designation, which is our internationally aligned uh, IP 3P accredited designation, which in addition to IT knowledge and experience, um, the holder also has uh, business and organizational skills. And the last one there is AITP, which I noted is for recent graduates of IT university and college programs. And again, is the first step in starting your professional IT career and obtaining the ISP and ITCP designations. So now we're just gonna jump right into the uh, KIPS skill assessment and career planning. Um, and also again, if you have any questions for either Jackie or myself, please post them in the chat and uh, we'll compile the questions at the end for a Q&A portion. So for the uh, KIPS skill assessment, that can be accessed at kips.ca slash skills dash assessment and KIPS members can log in with their KIPS member login, at which point they'll be able to assess their skills, set career goals, and develop targeted skills. So the first step is uh, doing some surveys in order to discover what various skills you have at various skill levels. And you can see here, the, the surveys, they range from things like strategy and architecture, to people and skills. So it's not just um, you know, direct IT skills, um, especially at senior IT positions, you need to have a lot of people and relationship skills. Um, so that's why it's important that these are assessed. 
And you can see that these surveys, um, some are really short, it might be four minutes, other ones they say, you know, might be about 30 minutes, but ultimately that depends on how many skills you have. So more skills, it'll take you a, a, a bit longer. Um, however, you can complete these sur surveys um, at your leisure. You can you know, do a survey or two and then come back you know, at a later day and complete your surveys. And this is just a quick example of what those surveys look like. So this is a question regarding to influence and it's asking, you know, maybe do you have minimal influence or do you influence organizations, customers, suppliers um, at the higher end? Um, so you just basically go through a survey, nice and easy, select what options you feel are your best match and then the uh, tool will discover uh, what your skills are and at what levels. And this is basically the output that you'll get after you complete the skills assessment. Um, this is what will be emailed to you. Um, and it starts basically with a brief summary of your general skills and those definitions, as well as a breakdown of the specific skills that uh, you were assessed at, as well as the skill levels. And you can see that this is, um, it starts at level one all the way up to level five. Um, and you can also see that there's um, different levels of, of uh, whether it's being completely competent, if it's green, uh, proficient, if it's orange, or gray, if you just have the knowledge. So once you complete your skills assessment, uh, it's time to go into the planner section of the tool. And this is basically um, what we just saw from that output of the skills, um, but this is uh, just a zoomed out view from within the tool itself. Um, at the top, you'll see it has the uh, more general areas of uh, autonomy, influence, complexity, business skills, and knowledge. And then again, your breakdown of your specific skills, as well as the various levels. So in the planner, you can click any of these skills um, and read the definition of what you've been currently assessed at, as well as the definitions for various levels. So, you know, I might read this and say, actually for autonomy, I, I feel like the, le the level five definition fits me better. So I would, uh, you know, simply click the dot and see the changes and update uh, my assessment. Uh, now, one also really great thing about this, this is a, a nice way just to even learn about the definition of a, what a variety of these skills are, uh, as well as the various levels. Um, I know for myself, you know, I learned uh, that uh, I had a lot of skills that um, I wasn't even technically really aware of, uh, especially to be really specific in terms of uh, what level in my career I am for those skills. Um, and now this is uh, in the planner portion. Once you, you, know, you assess your skills, you want to do some career planning. Um, so there's two things. One, you can set your, a current job um, and see how your current skills relate to that. Uh, but more importantly, you can set a future role and see uh, how your skills uh, compare to that and what your skills gaps are. So uh, in this tool, you can click show and it'll uh, for, let's say, the future job and it'll overlay all the skills and levels that are required for that job. Um, so, for example, you know, maybe autonomy, um, this job role, it highlights that it's level five and I can see I'm at level four. Um, so I know that I have a skill gap there and that I need to take some courses or get some more experience in order to upskill in that area. It also gives you a general idea of how close you are to your future role. So in this example, um, it's showing that uh, I'm 70% match for my future role. And then the last step here would be to create an action plan of um, how we're going to upskill in those various areas in order to reach our uh, desired role in the future. And in the action plan, uh, still left side here, just a little action plan link, it'll show you the various levels that you've been assessed at, the levels required for your current role, and then also for the future role. And you can make a plan uh, in order to upskill in those various areas. So one example here, we have strategic planning. Um, it says IT SP5, so strategic planning at level five. Um, I've added some professional development here, again, with the code IT SP5 in order to help me upskill in that strategic planning skill. Um, you can do that two ways. Uh, one is you can add any type of custom uh, professional development that you found online. You can just enter it here and then it'll add it to your action plan. Or you can search the predefined, predefined options of uh, courses, um, see what courses are listed there, 
Um, or more importantly, in this case, you can access the D2L Wave uh, library and view the uh, professional development options in D2L Wave. Uh, you can also access the D2L Wave uh, PD options uh, directly through the KIPS website through the benefits page. Um, and Jackie will also uh, give you a brief overview on how to do, um, access it um, through the direct URL link. And so uh, on that note, I'm going to turn it over to Jackie, who's going to provide the demo of D2L Wave and how our members can use it uh, to find curated professional development in order to upskill in various skill areas um, so that they can progress in their career. Um, and again, uh, Jackie is uh, D2L Wave's Senior Manager of Product Marketing and specializes in product launch and go-to marketing strategies for new and emerging technologies. So on that note, I'll switch it over to you. Uh, do you want to share your slide? Uh, yeah, that Jeff? would be great if that's okay. Thanks. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to re kick this off here. And again, while Jackie does that, again, if you have any questions, please post that in the chat. And I'll uh, compile those for Jackie and myself for the end of the presentation. Perfect. Yes. And so again, thank you everyone uh, for having me today. Thank you, Jonathan, for letting me come in and chat with everyone. So what um, what we've been doing, what, what we've been working on with KIPS over this last little while, they have this wonderful skills assessment that is absolutely critical in our, in our current um, kind of uh, skill gap world for us to be able to identify where it would be most valuable for each of us to spend our time um, continuing our training, gathering new skills and preparing for the jobs of the future that we want to get. Um, it's a really great indicator to tell us where we should spend our time. And then most of us are left to the broader World Wide Web to figure out where can we go and find courses and programs. So I know what skill I have to find. Where do I go? Who do I take it with? How much is it going to cost? And then comparing those different options that are available to you can be super time consuming and really confusing. And that's specifically the problem that Wave has set out as a market solution to solve. So when we started talking with KIPS and we found out about their skills assessment tooling, we thought that Wave could be a really, really easy way for you to come in and kind of plug in some of those answers. So what is it? At the end of the day, it's a marketplace of different um, part-time uh, continuing education options for working professionals. So I literally lovingly love to call it Uber Eats for education. So it's an online tool that you can go on really quickly search and find for different programs and courses that match your needs um, and the requirements that you have. So what we've done with KIPS is, is gone in and kind of pre-curated a catalog that um, spans the topics of interest that are likely of interest for KIPS members. And then we've, made, we've prepped the catalog and made it available to all KIPS members as a member value. So again, what you're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to do all of this, but just at a high level, you're going to be able to log in, you're going to be armed with the information that of what kind of skills or gaps that you might be working towards, and then we're giving you a place where you can come on and search directly for them and look through the different options that are available to you. What's in our catalog? Well, we have, oh, sorry, it says 200 plus, it's more like 600 plus options, but it is a massively um, full discipline um, catalog spanning from business to accounting to DevOps to diversity, inclusion, et cetera. So kind of it gives you a ton of options, whether you are looking to um, hone in on a specific technical sales skill set, do some cross-functional training or more uh, common and soft skill training. Uh, the catalog has a little bit of something for everyone, um, but there's kind of one defining factor with absolutely everything that you're going to see available in the catalog. And that's that the education is specifically designed for working professionals. So we partner with various um, education providers, be it universities, colleges, associations, and private institutions uh, to curate the best of the best courses and programs that we are pre-vetting before we get onto the platform. Um, and one of the requirements that we have in order to accept this catalog offering uh, is that, again, it be part-time. 
it's going to, so it's going to fit into the work-life balance of someone who works full-time and doesn't have 40 hours a week to dedicate to learning. Um, there's going to be a mix between asynchronous, which is essentially meaning you can do it on your own time. There's no set class schedule that you've got to show up to, um, or we do have some synchronous training options. And we've got everything from a weekend uh, or like a three hour course and a, a weekend book boot camp all the way up to a full certification that you're going to work nine plus months towards achieving. So there's a, a huge kind of variance and breadth and depth of what the offering um, is at first glance. And then you can drill down based off what your interests are. So how do you get there? Um, so if you go through your member only portal on KIPS, you'll be able to direct through. Uh, you can also uh, use this URL directly, kips.ca slash D12 wave. And that's going to be able to um, direct you directly into the platform. So after you've done your skills assessment, this is a really good time to come in and browse and kind of have a look at what your options are. I'm just gonna monitor the chat really quickly. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. And I'm going to switch over to oops, my demo right now. OK, so when you log in to D2O Wave, this is what you're going to see. Jonathan, can you just thumbs up if you can still see my screen OK? Well, I'm going to take it. You can. Uh, yeah, you're good. Perfect. OK, so this is the home page of D2L Wave. You'll see this is the, uh, curated specifically for KIPS. And the home page, you're going to be able to come in and look and see um, what are some of the providers that we are working with. Um, you can also contact our technical support team directly through this home page here. Um, but most importantly, uh, this is how you browse through the catalog. So the first thing to note when you are looking through the different programs and, and course options available in WAVE, we've created what we call skill streams, which are kind of these broad, think about them like Netflix categories. They're collections of like skills. So leadership, communication, people management, employee wellness and well-being, uh, data science, machine learning, analytics, et cetera. So we have multiple different skill streams that you can come in and browse uh, and see what might be of interest or what's going to fit within your SOFIA framework that has been identified by the skills assessment. So that's one way you can browse the catalog. Uh, next, you can come in and say, the, uh, you can come in and filter out the options that are available based off of your lifestyle preferences. So let's say you just want to work towards taking one singular course or um, I, right, I want to do a, a full certificate to really extend my CV offering. Uh, you can filter that out here. You can um, filter out based off of providers. If you have specific preferences, you can look through on a provider level. Self-paced and instructor-led learning. This is right. what will work for me. I want to do something that's on demand and I can work on in my own time frame. That's self-paced learning. Um, and then, right, or you want an instructor that's available that, to help walk you through some of the, the teachings and, and you, you're able to quickly filter based off of that. Um, and then also you're able to, if English is not your first language. One, if you have your browser set to French, this whole system will uh, show in French, but you can also filter out between courses that are actually offered in French rather than English, uh, should that be of interest. Now, one of the wonderful things about the skill assessment is most of you are gonna come into this system armed with at least a general idea of what skill or competency you're looking to build. So you can come in here and filter out the skill directly um, through here, or you can come in um, and um, just like a, a live search. And I'm just going to let's go here. Um, so right, it'll filter out everything that talks about kind of communication or conflict resolution. All the courses um, that build those skill sets will be um, curated through this search. So let's just look at this one here. So this is a course that is offered through uh, Power Ed um, at Athabasca University. And you can come in and, and see everything you need to know to kind of make a decision 
right off the bat. So you know that, right, it's a, right, about five hours a week is what you're going to look to spend on coursework. It's self-paced, it's fully online, and you can start at any time. You'll be able to look through and, and read a little bit more about the course to make sure that it's the right one for you. Uh, you can also look and see if you wanted to at a later date, take this course and stack up a few towards working towards a larger certificate. You can see that this course is, is part of the um, essential skills for leadership certificate offered through. So you can stack up course by course working towards a larger credential if that's something of interest. So you can go in and compare a whole bunch of different courses and programs to find one that you like. Now, I just want to be really, really transparent with members on the call right now. So traditionally at D2L Wave, we work with corporate clients, um, helping them in, with managing the subsidies that they are applying um, for their employees to go and work. So a lot of us have tuition reimbursement or an education benefit program where we'll get a, a, some of our education paid for by our employers. That's traditionally the relationship that we work with in. So you're gonna notice this button here that says request approval. Now we have a temporary workaround that we're doing with KIPS uh, that we're looking to resolve, but essentially what you will have to do as a KIPS member is just fill out a quick request. Now we are, this will be, kind of streamlined in the future, um, but the request is going to go up to KIPS and KIPS is just going to approve it and move it and move it, move it through the process. There's no additional costs associated to this or kind of not or a lengthy kind of delay. It's just because we traditionally work with corporations, this request process is kind of ingrained in the product. So all you'll need to do is go in, um, right, fill out the form really quickly with your name and press um, review and submit. KIPS will then push it through the workflow and you're going to be given the option to register directly for this course or program um, and, and pay for the course. You'll be automatically enrolled and then you'll go be, and become a student of Athabasca University while you're taking this course. So some people, um, some people ask, well, what happens if I am an employee? What happens if I do have professional development? reimbursement options. Almost all of these programs and courses that are available in WAVE um, would likely be um, within your policy. Again, it's going to happen, change co company by company basis, but absolutely everything is from accredited, prestigious um, education partners. Um, and so you could submit your own reimbursement. If you want to dig further into what further integration options are available, happy to have that conversation. And um, Jonathan can <clears throat> certainly start those conversations with our team if you're in, if you're interested. So the last thing I want to mention really, really quickly is just technical support. Um, we offer full technical support in the platform. So now this could take... Um, Right, this could be true technical support. You're not sure how to use the platform, or you're seeing something that you you uh, weren't expected. Reach out to us. Have a question. Uh, you're not sure exactly what program or course to take. We are happy to help provide some additional coaching and context um, in that arena to help you find the right program and course for you. If you have further information um, that you like from the education partner, reach out to us. We'll happily connect you um, as you make sure that the course or program you're choosing is the right one for you and will help accomplish your career goals. So in a nutshell, that's D12 Wave and the new member benefit program with GIPS. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jackie. So I hope you all get a, got a good sense of, of you know, what we're trying to um, demonstrate to members here. Basically, you know, do a detailed skills assessment, see where you currently are at, plan for the future, see what your uh, ideal goal is for your future role, and see where your skills gaps are based on your assessment, and then jump into D2L Wave and look at all this amazing curated professional development um, and, and help upskill in your various areas and, um, and get your career goals. So on that note, uh, we're going to move to the, the question portion. We have a few in the chat here. 
And um, also while we're answering questions, if you have any more questions, again, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, so one question we have is, are there uh, courses uh, free for KISS members or any special prices for students? Um, Jackie, I don't know if you don't, if there are any types of promotions or uh, you know, free courses, um, but from, it seems like in general, most of the courses are paid, um, but they also vary uh, in, in length. So it might be just one small course, or it might be a program that you know, was five or six courses, which of course in that case, would be a, a higher price tag than just taking a single course. Yeah, and, and so at this time, right, there's a cost associated with almost everything in the WAVE platform. Um, will that be that way forever? Um, maybe not, um, but for now, right, there would be a cost to attend most of these uh, programs and courses. Just keep in mind that a lot of the, because they're, they're typically education designed for working professionals, they're meant to be attended by full-time people. That doesn't mean students cannot attend or take them. They absolutely can. They're just in the non-credit portion of the school. Um, if you have specific questions or goals as a student, um, through that technical support form, reach out. Right? We are happy to have some conversations and see if there are options available specifically for you. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention was um, in that approval workflow. Now, as a member, you might right, it might seem counterintuitive. Why am I asking KIPS uh, to request or to approve me to take this course? At, right, I'm going to be paying for it fully out of my pocket. Uh, we understand um, now we it is our goal and our dreams and our hopes that if there is ever kind of government grant assistance money etc that uh, kips is able to uh, secure and distribute to its members for learning this will be the mechanism for how those grant subsidies can be assigned um so while it's not in place right now we are um kind of future proofing the opportunity uh, as we know it's a goal from from both organizations Awesome. Thanks, Jackie. So yeah, so it's awesome member benefit now. And, you know, in the future, you know, there might be even more perks. So um, yeah, yeah, part of this is D12 Wave. They're helping build the this essentially association side of their products uh, with KIPS and, uh, you know, continuing working to evolve the products uh, with KIPS members feedback. Yeah. So there's um, just another question that came in the chat here, Jonathan. What's the differences sure. between courses in D12 Wave and Coursera? So could be a few things. Um, one, um, traditionally, there's some sort of cost associated uh, for organizations to use uh, Coursera. There's some sort of subscription, etc. D12 Wave is not the case. There's no markup on the education um, that's involved. Um, other times, right, you might be taking a course, et cetera, directly within Coursera rather than with the end institution. It's important to us at D12 Wave, especially if, um, right, when we're talking about career growth, for a lot of people, um, the, the credential that you're receiving for the work that you're doing is important to be able to sit on your resume. So we, we're just connecting you to the end institution. You will receive a certificate or um, uh, completion documentation from the end institution, right? D2L Wave is just the connector. It's not where you're actually doing your learning from. Um, and again, it's more just the, the reputation of the education provider is the most critical piece of information of, of we want you to know that when you're looking through D12 Waves catalog, everyone is everything is offered by reputable brands. Um, and you can trust in the quality of the education that you're receiving. Awesome. Um, so next question we have here is, um, uh, is the skills, uh, KIPP skills assessment free? I think I might have answered some of that in the chat. Um, so the KIPP skills assessment, um, it is free for KIPPS members. Um, if you are not really a KIPS member, um, obviously we encourage you to join KIPS. Um, however, if you require, um, you know, some type of special guest access, you just send us an email and, uh, you know, we'll see if we can get you access. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, Jackie kind of uh, answered this one, but, um, so, you know, why, how do these courses relate into something like LinkedIn Learning? So, 
it's very similar to Coursera, um, right? Um, like almost directly, um, right? You become a student of the institution, your credential is granted through them. Um, the um, flexibility and delivery options and types of options that you have available to you, um, no kind of subscription or additional markup of cost to be able to continue your learning. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and I can give you a brief uh, just story of how like I've experienced something like this is I was looking to take some professional development courses and, you know, my first thing is just get into Google and, you know, search, you know, say postgraduate marketing management, you know, go on LinkedIn learning. And it was a bit overwhelming for me personally, you know, like LinkedIn learning, there's a variety of different courses and, you know, a lot of them don't have the prestige of a course from say a Canadian university or college. Um, and then, you know, looking at, you know, postgraduate programs at universities and colleges, again, it was pretty overwhelming where I'm basically going from institution to institution, you know, seeing what they offer and, and if it fits for me and, you know, trying to find their price and, and trying to Google what their price is, um, opposed to if I had something like D12 Wave, it's really just that one place where they do that work for you. They provide all the curation. Um, it's nicely organized uh, by different areas. Um, and then I can see all those reputable schools and programs um, or individual courses. If, you know, I just want to take one course at, at a lower budget, um, it's just a nice way to, to find that PDA in order to fill those skills gaps. So another question here. Um, oh, oh sorry, that's it's just a comment. Thank you for that comment. Okay, so any other last minute questions in the chat before uh, we have our final comments? There we go. All right. Well, um, yeah. So, just want to again thank you all for participating in this IT Professionalism Week event. Uh, again, we really hope that you know you first take that KIPP skills assessment, um, see where your skills gaps are, and then check out the Detail Wave uh, catalog and see if there's any courses that uh, you might be interested in in order to upskill in those various areas. Um, and then again, as we said, you can either uh, you know pay those directly. Um, or you can work with Detail Wave in order to help uh, your employer uh, cover some, or I mean, hopefully full, the full cost there. And our next uh, event for IIT Professionalism Week is tomorrow with the Saskatchewan President Thomas Boxel. So we really hope that you can join this event, a Soldier Story of IT in the Military. Um, and again, you can uh, see that event on the KIPS website and, and register for it. Um, it's uh, going to be at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so hopefully we see you tomorrow afternoon. And uh, finally, of course, again, well, we'd love for you to join KIPS and uh, be part of our IT community. Uh, so if you're not currently a member, please join us at kips.ca slash membership. So yeah, so thank you, Jackie and uh, the D School Wave team for uh, helping set this up for KIPS. Um, and setting up this uh, you know, specialized product for associations and also continuing to work uh, with us to help evolve the product um, so that we can provide you know, more and more benefits uh, for KISS members and help them on their IIT professional journey. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jonathan.